My name is Raghav. I'm co-founder and CEO at Nimble. Nimble builds countertop cooking robots to help consumers eat freshly cooked meals every single day without them spending tons of time in the kitchen. So we are uh, currently in private beta with about 60 customers using us in their own homes for the last 16 months. They use us three times a week, pay us a monthly recurring fee to use our robot, are extremely happy. We feel uh, it's a true test of retention because if you do a beta where they have to pay a ridiculously high amount of money every month to you, they will stop and tell you that they don't like the product the minute they don't like it. Uh, as, as opposed to you know, giving the product up front to them and telling them, hey, continue to use it. Um, and if you don't like us, you know, let us know. They won't tell you because they have no incentive to tell you. Mm. Whereas if they're paying you a ridiculously high amount every single month, they have every incentive to tell you because there's money going out of their pockets. So our ideal customers are people who want to eat freshly cooked meals and like cooking on the weekends. Uh, they're people who want to, who are already cooking their meals Monday to Friday on a, on a, on a, on a typical weekday, but, but don't necessarily like spending so much time in the kitchen. We have built incredible technology that makes it possible for you to use whatever ingredients you want. Once you choose the recipe you want to eat, uh, the screen tells you what all ingredients you need to put in what all containers, uh, in what all quantities. You add those ingredients in the quantities described and the robot takes over and it cooks a meal for you um, perfectly as per your liking. It's got a camera that looks over your food. It knows uh, how brown your onions are. Even if you use an onion from a different farm that probably takes two more minutes to brown, you know, it doesn't matter. The robot figures out um, when the onions are going to brown. Um, it uses multiple computer vision algorithms, AI on the edge, to make sure that it mimics human chef-like intelligence so you don't have to use your intelligence to, to cook a meal while eating the same kinds of meal that you, know, you, you love eating. The, the device can be purchased for a one-time fee. There will be optional subscriptions for you to get even more add-on features than what, are, what you're already getting. For instance, we have more than a thousand recipes available on our uh, cooking library and our culinary team is always innovating on new recipes. Immediately, we have no plans to work with other recipes. Um, we have our own in-house culinary team that, that creates these recipes, tests them meticulously, tastes them, makes sure they, they live up to our standards and then ships them out on the robot. Once we have a way to consistently do that, we might open the doors for other partners to also uh, provide their recipes on our platform. So our intention is to make the robot so useful um, and so indispensable in their lives that we are able to actually help them with meal planning, grocery shopping, grocery delivery, which a lot of players are trying to do. But, but I think automatic cooking or autonomous cooking is a key piece to making all of that happen. Because the consumer journey is very complex and it's, uh, you know, it's typically a linear journey, you know, deciding what to eat, shopping, cooking, and cooking happens to be the most frictionful part. Most players have not been able to solve that friction. And so meal planning, grocery shopping isn't automatically you know, easy to solve. We feel by solving this part, um, you know, solving for meal planning and grocery shopping becomes even more attractive to consumers. So that's one thing we're looking forward to. Uh, and maybe five years down the line, we're also hoping that uh, the nimble robot becomes so indispensable in their lives that we earn or attain inbuilt status. Um, what I mean by that is, if you look at microwave ovens, or if you look at uh, the traditional oven, or if you see dishwashers, they were never built in from day one. Uh, they, they earned a space on your countertop, and they, then they earned a space uh, you know, in, in, in every modern kitchen. So that's the approach we're taking to making the, the stovetop of the future that cooks for you, and that you can also cook on uh, when you don't feel like uh, you know, relying on your robot to cook.